That hasn't been announced, right. so I, oh, yeah. that's the only thing I can tell you. I, could, I can well, tell you, though, that it's capable for apps, it's video with a rear With a rear camera capturing high def, absolutely capable for video conferencing. And then the front, of course, if you wanted to hold it. Absolutely. Yep, definitely. Uh, and we can even, I'll show you the camera before I show you bridging. So, the camera is going to show you just the back right now, right. Right, the back camera. But if I tap down here and I hit this icon, it's going to show us the front. Right. And at this point, I can access video by clicking the button up here, which uh, switches it into a video mode and allows me to record. Okay, great. And then, uh, so getting away from that for a moment, the BlackBerry Bridge is what we have via Bluetooth connection. So I can access my bridge by clicking a BlackBerry and opening up something like my inbox. So if I show you over here on the device, what you'll see load on the screen is a mirror image of what I have on my device. Really? So if I move up and down here, I move up and down on there as well? No, it's not a monitor. Okay. I'll show you what it does though. If I come over here and I'm used to composing email on my BlackBerry, yeah, I'll pick who I want to send it to. I'll come down here and I'll compose my message and then perhaps I get a call. I can save this as a draft, which is something I'm used to doing. And once once it's saved in my list here, it's also saved on my playbook as well. Same time. Okay. If I come to my playbook and I want to open up that message, pay to build, right? I can open up this message on the playbook. I can complete it. And then from my playbook, I can send it. Music, I'm sending it via Bluetooth back to the device, and the device is going to send it off. It's been marked as sent here, and it's been marked as sent here. Can I ask you a question? So, if you don't own a if you don't own a BlackBerry, there's no way to utilize email and calendar. Not necessarily, uh, because we have the full internet accessible to us. As far as web-based email goes, I can access any web-based email I want. But, but not like the native client per se? Right now, uh, this bill doesn't have any native client applications. Okay. Uh, that might be something that comes in the future, but right, right now, it would be web-based email. Let me ask you, how secure is this Bluetooth connection going to be? It's extremely secure, and this is the reason why IT decision makers love it. If we sever this connection, I can't access my inbox, calendar, BBM, or contacts from my bill. <laughs> Until that uh, connection is made again, then you have access to it. I would have nothing on the playbook that okay. I had on my device. Great. So it's super secure in that respect. Okay, awesome. Any other questions or anything else you'd like to see? Actually, can we open BBM really quick? Yeah. Just to get a quick peek. So we have BBM's the one in the build for the beta that's been a little testy. Usually what we have to do, and this isn't going to be official, you know, announce or launch, but if we close everything else down, I can typically get into my BBM. There we go. So I've got my contact list that we to see. And the photo keyboard. And the photo keys. Motocons pop up in this screen right here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right, great. Thanks. No problem. Thanks.